Here we are, not even seven weeks away from the Mr. Olympia event, and Nick Walker is giving us a sneak peek. Look at this physique, guys. And I heard a lot of naysayers, not going to mention any names, respectable people from the industry saying, Nick Walker, he's, he's going to blow out his midsection. He's going to get too big, too fast. If you ask me, what I see here is a nice physique. And I'm not just saying that, guys, to blow smoke up Nick Walker's derriere. This guy is huge, of course. He's put on some size on the wheels, if you ask me. And those arms are just insane. But that midsection, that's not blown out at all. In fact, it's one of the best midsections out there. Here's a most muscular shot. And you can see he's uh, fasted. Things of that nature. I'll link you to his Instagram. You can read the descriptions. Things of that nature. This guy, he's going to look a whole lot bigger come Olympia time. Because he's depleted here. He's going to get some carbs going in that physique. Can he challenge Big Rammy for an Olympia title? Well, Big rammy has been dropping some physique updates too. And I guess we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. Does that tantalize you guys? Tantalizes me. Nick Walker, he might even have better arms. And don't worry about the sizing. If you think it's incorrect, just, just don't worry about it. Nick might even have a better midsection, depending on what you're looking for. I mean, Nick, those abs, they're going to need a divorce lawyer. They are separated. But Big Rammy... Not a lot of people talk about this. Well, they did before he became Olympia champion, but he has some of the tiniest or one of the tiniest midsections compared to the upper bodies of any competitor today. So yeah, take your pick as far as that's concerned. Now the side is going to be an uphill battle for our friend Nick Walker, but this is a feature on Nick Walker. So we're going to talk him up. He's good, probably winning in the calves, but hey, it, that that's that's the side some could argue nick's winning in that front double what about the back now we did this shot the other day and nick walker has improved tenfold in that uh rear lat spread i mean this is 110 percent better than he uh what he displayed at the olympia even at the arnold classic but all in all they're both good big rammy's bigger bigger's better right hmm Here's the rear double by both arms, Louis. But uh, yeah, the rear double by is a little bit different than the rear lat spread, I would wager to say. Sure, sure, big Rammy in the upper back. Probably still winning. Delts. This guy's a monster. His name's Big. I mean, come on, Big. But detail, lower lat insertions, and when Nick dries out even more, it's going to be even more spectacular. Phil Heath was defeating Big Rammy in that situation. He had a more complete back. Rammy's was always going to be bigger. So yeah, he could be one for one. And obviously the most muscular is a take your pick. Big Rammy, he's so gosh darn wide and big. And I mean, Nick, look at the size of the wheels in this. We did see a couple of lag shots in that physique update or that uh, guest posing of Big Rammy, the guest posing but I don't know, man. Nick looks freaking insane. He's huge, guys. Could he give Big Rammy a run for his money? I think he could. I think he could. Is he going to defeat him? Well, no. Of course not. It's the Olympia champion, guys. You got to take his head clean off. You got to destroy him. And as Nick Walker will give him a good go, I'm sure. It's it's just not a, it's not his year to dethrone Big Rammy. But there's always next year. Now what about Hattie Chupin? Hattie Chupin? This could be a different story. This could be a different situation. And I have shifted my attention towards this man. And during my Olympia predictions, I think what just went down is going to definitely be a deciding factor for me. Where I place this guy, he has temporarily, or he relocated, he didn't move, he relocated to the U.S. He's in the U.S., guys. Is, is that Rambo? Is he with Rambo? Honey, honey, hey, honey, honey. Yeah, so he's there, guys. He's there. All those visa issues. I mean, 2020, I believe it was. He was just terrible at the prejudging 
compared to the finals because he just basically, he just got there. So it screwed him right up. And last year was a little bit different, but, you know, somewhat similar. Now he's here and he looks peeled. Hate to steal my own phrase, but he is peeled. Ripped to shreds, man, soon. Ripped to shreds, gorilla. Yeah, yeah. So this year, we could very well see that 2019 type Hattie Shupin. Maybe even better. Maybe even better. So Nick Walker, could he beat Big Ramy? Probably not this year. What about Hattie Shupin if he's on? Which he looks like he's going to be. Mm, that's going to make people think, I guarantee you. Excites me too. Next up, we have a physique update from a guy not a lot of people are counting on to do great at the Olympia, but I think he's going to flip-flop everybody's thoughts on him. Justin Rodriguez. He didn't do too well at the Legion Sports Fest, but hey, people underestimated Tony O'Burton. He's friggin' awesome, too. He's friggin' awesome, too. But yeah, I think Justin, he just needed some rejuvenization. Rejuvenation. Yeah. <laughs> Might, he, it might actually need a little bit more time off. But it looks like he's all guns blazing heading into the Olympia. And this is a guy, he's a battler. He's an athlete. He doesn't get dwarfed by the moment. And there's going to be a lot of uh, Olympia virgins there this year that the nerves are going to be eating away at them. And Justin Rodriguez, he could capitalize on that. We've seen it in all sports. You know, UFC fighter. You know, a real good fighter loses to a subpar guy. The nerves, the nerves gets to you. Anything can happen, guys. We are finishing up this one with a bang. Literally, guys. I mean, sure, people have seen this in the gym and dropped their weights. And there probably was a big crash, boom, bang, all around in the gym when he did this big flex. This is Derek Lunsford. Should have covered up the face if you guys knew who he was. It's Derek freaking Lunsford. And this is one reason why I'm so excited and I'm all aboard. I was all gung-ho to see him go to the open class. Because now we get to see the very best. The very best of Derek Lunsford. We were never, ever going to see that in 212. And the same thing goes with certain classic guys. We're never going to see their true potential you got to cut weight. You're not going to just be exploding with size and just flavor. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. So here is another one. You got your your Nick Walkers, your Bonax, your Currys. I mean, your Shupins. Obviously, we just talked about him. And all those other guys, they might have to... All the other guys that I didn't mention, your Andrew Jacks, things of that nature, Ian Valliers, Samson's. They might actually fall to the feet of this little man. And Creezo's involved too now, guys. So, what an excitement. An excitement the Olympia 2021 will be. It'll go on for till, uh, you know, the end of time, I guess. Derek Lunsford, top six, question mark. Could be, could be. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Helps me greatly. Have a good one.